Beowulf, the hero of the geeks. Episode 3 You have heard how Beowulf defeated Grendel with his bare hands, and how the Danes nailed Grendel's arm above the door. But as they celebrated, the Danes didn't know that another monster was making for Herod, a monster seeking vengeance. Grendel's mother. Who killed my son? Who killed my son? I will kill the man who killed my son. See the lights of Herod, said Grendel's mother. Tomorrow, Beowulf will return to Gitland with our gratitude and our love. We will sleep well tonight, friends, for at last we know that we are safe," said Rovka. The lights go out in Herod. I am ready," said Grendel's mother. <laughs> Grendel's mother smashed down the door of Herod. With one hand, she grabbed a Danish thing. With the other, she put down Grendel's severed arm. Then she ran out into the night and was gone. In the morning, Rovka inspected the damage. I thought all this was finished. When was it? When was it that did this? Asked Rovka. Uh, my lord. Grendel has some mother. They say she lived in a cave under a lake. It, it, it was she who came last night," answered Thane. "And all our things are safe?" asked Rovka. N "No, my lord. One is missing," answered Thane. "Who?" asked Rovka. "My lord, I cannot say it." Replied Thane. Say it. Who did she take? Asked Rovka. Uh, uh, Ezra, my lord. Answered Thane. Ezra was Rovka's closest friend. The two were like brothers. So the king's eye filled with tears. He knew that he would never see his friend again. Bring me Beowulf. Bring me Beowulf now," orders Rovka. When Beowulf heard about the attack, he wasted no time. "My lord, I will find Grendel's mother and defeat her," said Beowulf. "It won't be easy. They say she lives in a cave at the bottom of a lake," said Rovka. "My lord, I will find her. I promise." Said Beowulf. That night, the Danes and the Geeks rode together, searching, hunting. All night they rode, and at daybreak they came to a deep lake. By the shore, they saw huge footprints, each one splashed with blood. Ezra, my poor friend, cried Rovka. Have no doubt, my lord. I will avenge Ezra's death," said Beowulf. Beowulf, they say this sword has magical powers. Take it now; it's yours," said Rovka. "Thank you, my lord. With this sword, I will kill the monster or die trying. Pray for me," said Beowulf. And with that, Beowulf dived into the lake. And swam down into the deep. In a cave at the bottom of the lake, Grendel's mother was waiting. He is coming, the one, the one who killed my son. I know it. I can feel it. He is swimming towards me. Keep swimming. I am ready for you. Said Grendel's mother. Suddenly, the monster grabbed Beowulf in her vicious claws. Beowulf tried to use his sword, but he was trapped in the monster's grip. 
He couldn't breathe. He was starting to drown. So, this is how it ends: drowned in the grabs of the sea monster. Wonders Beowulf. The monster dragged Beowulf into her cave, and suddenly there was air. Beowulf could breathe, and the air gave him strength. He wrestled free from the monster's grasp, but Grendel's mother leapt on Beowulf again, slashing at him with a short sword. Now it was Beowulf's turn to strike. He swung Rovger's sword at the monster's head, but Grendel's mother laughed. Your sword cannot hurt me. No weapon can break my skin. Ha 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 ha. Laughed Grendel's mother. Then Beowulf saw a massive sword in the corner of the cave. It looked like it had been made for a giant. It was too huge for any ordinary person to lift, but Beowulf gripped the handle. He swung the sword through the air and struck at the monster. Rovger and the others waited on shore of the lake. Let's go back to Herod. Beowulf is dead," said Rovka. "Don't give up hope, my lord. Let us wait a little longer," said Thame. "There is nothing to wait for. No one could stay under water for that long. Beowulf has been killed," said Rovka. Then the sound broke from the surface of the lake. The sound of someone gasping for air. What is it? I can't see," asked Rovka. "My lord, it is Beowulf," answered Thane. Beowulf, back from the deep, and he had won. The monster was dead. That night, there were celebrations in Herod, and then the following day, Beowulf and his men boarded their ship. And said goodbye to Rovka and the Danes. And so Beowulf sailed for Gitland, where one day he would become king, and his brave deeds would be told in stories around the fire on dark winter nights. Thank you for watching. This is the end of the final episode. If you like this story. Please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. See you again.